Hello, this is John Bohan of Baseball Me Love. In this segment, we'll be showcasing the Division I College Pitchers of the Week for the period of March 20th, 2017 through March 26th, except for the SWAC, which is always one or two days off. Uh, the theme this week appeared to be complete games with several pitchers going the full nine, plus there's a few mercy rule short games where the pitchers went the duration. Uh, always apologies in advance for any mispronunciations. Uh, the American East Conference selected Brian Herman of the Stony Brook Sea Wolves. The freshman right-hander picked up the win in a 14-0 victory over Hartford with seven innings pitched, giving up three hits, no earned runs, three walks, and he struck out five. The American Athletic Conference selected Trey Cumbie of the Houston Cougars. The sophomore right-hander pitched a complete game, 4-0 shutout against Louisiana Lafayette. With nine innings pitched, he gave up five hits, no hard runs, two walks, and he struck out five. The Atlantic 10 Conference selected Sean Thompson of the Virginia Commonwealth Rams. The junior right-hander pitched a complete game, 8-1 to one victory over LaSalle. With seven innings pitched, giving up seven hits, one hard run, no walks, and he struck out 13. He had also earned the award in the opening week. The Atlantic Coast Conference selected Alex Eubanks of the Clemson Tigers. The sophomore right-hander pitched a complete game, one to nothing shutout against Boston College. With nine innings pitched, he gave up three hits, no hard runs, no walks, and he struck out ten. The Atlantic Sun Conference selected Jack Perkins of the Stetson Hatters. The sophomore right-hander pitched a complete game, one to nothing victory over Tulane. With nine innings pitched, giving up six hits, one earned run, one walk, and he struck out 13. The Big Ten Conference selected Zach Daniels of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The sophomore right-hander picked up two wins out of the bullpen against Bradley and Purdue with a combined pitching line of five and two-thirds innings pitched, giving up three hits, no earned runs, three walks, and he struck out nine. The Big 12 Conference selected Nolan Kingdom of the Texas Longhorns. The sophomore right-hander pitched a complete game, 2 to nothing shutout against Kansas State with nine innings pitched, giving uh, four hits, no hard runs, two walks, and he struck out five. The Big East Conference selected Sean Mooney of the St. John's Red Storm. The freshman right-hander pitched a complete game, 3 to nothing shutout against Maine, with nine innings pitched, giving up four hits, no hard runs, no walks, and he struck out three. It was a repeat performance as he also earned the award last week. The Big South Conference selected Zach Ridgely of the Radford Highlanders. The senior right-hander picked up the win in a 10 to nothing victory over Longwood with seven and two-thirds innings pitched. He gave up three hits, no hard runs, one walk, and he struck out 11. The Big West Conference selected Kyle Nelson of the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. The junior left-hander picked up the win in an 8 0 victory over New Mexico State with eight and a third innings pitched. He gave up three hits, no earned runs, two walks, and he struck out eight. The Colonial Athletic Association selected Daniel Powers of the William and Mary Tribe. The senior right-hander picked up the win in a 7-0 victory over VMI, plus earned a save out of the bullpen against North Carolina Wilmington. His combined pitching line was 7 and 2 thirds innings pitched, with five, giving up 5 hits, no earned runs, 1 walk, and he struck out 12. The Conference USA selected Alex House of the Florida Atlantic Owls. The junior right-hander pitched a complete game 6-3 victory over Alabama Birmingham with 9 innings pitched. He gave up 4 hits, 3 earned runs, no walks, and he struck out 10. The Horizon League selected Danny Sexton of the Wright State Raiders. The junior left-hander picked up the win in a 5-3 victory over Milwaukee with 8 innings pitched. He gave up 3 hits, no earned runs, 1 walk, and he struck out 4. He had also earned the award opening week. The Ivy League selected Michael Danielak of the Dartmouth Big Red. The senior right-hander picked up the win in a 4-1 victory over Central Florida 
with eight innings pitched to give up six hits, one hurt run, no walks, and he struck out eight. The Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference selected Gavin Wallace of the Fairfield Stags. The junior right-hander pitched a complete game, one to nothing shutout against Ryder, with nine innings pitched, giving up eight hits, or excuse me, giving up five hits, no hurt runs, no walks, and he struck out seven. He had also earned the award in week two and last week. The Mid-American Conference, they always select two players. They selected Brad Allen of the Eastern Michigan Eagles and Joey Murray of the Kent State Golden Flashes. Allen is a junior right-hander, represented West Division. He pitched a complete game, three to nothing shutout against Bowling Green with nine innings pitched. He gave up two hits, no hurt runs, one walk, and he struck out six. And Murray is a sophomore right-hander, representing the East Division. He picked up the win in a 9-4 victory over Ball State with five and a third innings pitched, giving up four hits, two earned runs, one walk, and he struck out 11. He had also earned the award in Week 4. The Mid-American Athletic Conference selected Devin Hemrick of the Norfolk State Spartans. The junior left-hander pitched two complete games, with a 3-1 victory over Delaware State on Monday and a 7-1 victory over Maryland East Shore on Sunday. Normally I would combine them, but since they're complete games, they're going to get the whole line. His pitching line against Delaware State was 9 innings pitched, gave him four hits, one earned run, one walk, and he struck out 10. And his pitching line against Maryland East Shore was the 9 innings pitched, gave him six hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he, again he struck out 10. He had also earned the award in week four. The Missouri Valley Conference selected Austin Knight of the Missouri State Bears. The junior right-hander picked up the win in a 72 victory over New Orleans. The, with seven innings pitched, he gave up five hits, no earned runs, two walks, and he struck out one. The Mountain West Conference selected Brett Seaberger of the San Diego State Aztecs. The senior left-hander picked up a win in a 12 to nothing victory over Fresno State with eight innings pitched. He gave up one hit, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out seven. The Northeastern Conference selected Danny Marsh of the Wagner Seahawks. The senior right-hander picked up, had pitched a complete game, three to nothing shutout against Fairley Dickinson with nine innings pitched. He gave up five hits, no earned runs, three walks, and he struck out nine. The Ohio Valley Conference selected two players this week, Jill McGuire of the Jacksonville State Gamecocks and Mason McRecon of the Southern Illinois University Edwardsville Cougars. The senior right-hander McGuire picked up the win in a 7-0 victory over Southern Illinois with seven innings pitched to give up two hits, no earned runs, one walk, and he struck out five, and junior right-hander McRecon had two appearances out of the bullpen to earn a save against Evansville and a win against Southeast Missouri. His combined pitching line was six innings pitched, giving up three hits, no earned runs, two walks, and he struck out nine. The Pacific 12 Conference selected Bryce Thamel of the Oregon State Beavers. The sophomore right-hander picked up win in a 10-1 victory over Arizona State with eight innings pitched, giving up four hits, one earned run, one walk, they struck out two. The Patriot League selected Mike Casolani of the Bucknell Bison. The senior left-hander started two games, even with a no decision against Penn State on Tuesday, and pitching a complete game, one to nothing shutout against Cornell on Sunday. His pitching line against Penn State was five innings pitch, giving up two hits, one hurt run, one walk, and he struck out five. And against Cornell, he Pitched nine innings, given up only three hits, no earned runs, one walk, and he struck out four. The Southeastern Conference selected Logan Salo of the Kentucky Wildcats. The senior left-hander had three appearances out of the bullpen, earning a save against Western Kentucky and two against Ole Miss. His combined pitching line showed four innings pitched, given up no hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out seven. The Southern Conference selected J.P. Sears of the Citadel Bulldogs. The junior left-hander pitched a complete game, 3-0 shutout against BMI, with nine innings pitched, 
giving up two hits, no earned runs, two walks, and he struck out 20. The performance also garnered national attention. He also earned the award in week two. The Southland Conference selected Mark Moyer of the Central Arkansas Bears. The freshman right-hander picked up a win out of the bullpen in a 12th inning 5-4 victory against Southeast Missouri State on Tuesday and then pitched a complete game 10 to nothing shutout against New Orleans on Sunday. His pitching line against the Southeast Missouri State was six innings out of the bullpen, uh, giving up four hits, one earned run, one walk, and he struck out three. And his pitching line against New Orleans showed seven innings pitched, with giving up five hits, no earned runs, one walk, and he struck out four. The Southwestern Conference selected Tyler Howe of the Alabama State Hornets. The senior right-hander picked up the win in a 12 to, excuse me, in a 14 to 2 victory over Mississippi Valley State with seven innings pitched. He gave up five hits, one earned run, one walk, and he struck out nine. The Summit League selected Sam Murphy of the Nebraska at Omaha Mavericks. The senior left-hander picked up the win in a 14-1 victory over Fort Wayne. With seven innings pitched, he gave up four hits, one earned run, two walks, and he struck out 16. The Sun Belt Conference selected Alex Cunningham of the Coastal Carolina Ch Chanticleers. The senior right-hander pitched a one-hitter in a 5 0 shutout against Arkansas State. With nine innings pitched, he gave up one hit, no earned runs, two walks, and he struck out 10. The performance also garnered national attention. The West Coast Conference selected Corey Abbott of the Loyola Marymount Lions. The junior right-hander pitched a perfect game in a 2 to nothing shutout against BYU. In his nine innings, he gave up the no hits, no earned runs, no walks, and he struck out 13. The performance also garnered national attention. It was the first perfect game in both school and conference histories and just the 26th perfect game in Division I since 1957. And the Western Athletic Conference selected Patrick Wolf of the Utah Valley Wolverines. The senior left-hander made three appearances out of the bullpen, earning a save against Utah, and a win and a save against UT Rio Valley Grand... Excuse me. A win and a save against UT Rio Grande Valley. The his combined pitching line showed three and two-thirds innings pitch, giving up no hits, no earned runs, one walk, and he struck out four. As always, you can find each of these players individually on my blog, Baseball Me Love. Until next time, this is John Bohan.